Welcome back to the Ed Show. This is the story for the folks who take a shower after work. Global warming could be partially to blame for a massive hole in the earth in northern Siberia. Siberian television recently aired helicopter footage of a giant hole. It's hundreds of feet wide and is located about 18 miles from the region's biggest natural gas field. People are scrambling for explanations. One Australian scientist says it looks like a collapsed pingo which is a huge chunk of ice under the soil. Other scientists say the area's unique geology could be the reason. They say a natural gas pocket combined with water and salt could have produced a large explosion if the permafrost were punctured by climate change-induced thaw. A team of scientists will investigate the mysterious hole and are scheduled to arrive on Wednesday. They plan to take samples of soil, air, and water from the scene. The fundamental questions remain, why and how? Dr. Reese Halter, author of The Insatiable Bark Beetle, joins us tonight and also a conservation biologist. Reese, good to have you with us tonight. What do you make of this? What is this from, from what you can gather? Well, good evening, Ed. What we're seeing here is the summer of 2012 and 2013 were extremely warm. The permanent frozen soils are thawing. It is very likely that what we've seen here is a torrent of gas gushing out of Mother Earth, just like a big old champagne cork being ripped off a bottle. And look, if we look on the other side of the Arctic Circle in Alaska, what we're seeing in Alaska is our soils are drying out even faster. That spells epic fires. The Anatovic River fire scorched 386 square miles. It was the most devastating fire in 5,000 years. How this all relates is very clear because What's happening is hundreds of years of accumulated mercury from coal are being released in one event. And these Arctic fires are causing toxicity of an epic global level because mercury in the form of methyl mercury is in our entire food chain mm. from polar bears to panthers to bats to 175 species in the northeast to my sharks to to the tuna to the swordfish and the largest living animals bl uh, the blue whales are full of mercury ed so this hole you think was caused by uh, climate change global warming and could there be more of these, or is this the beginning of something? How, you know, this is rather rare, no doubt about it. Absolutely, but th this is what we call an unintended consequence. There will be more unintended consequences, but the take-home message here is this. What we do to our oceans, what we do to our soils, we do to ourselves. We got to wake up, Ed. We got to wake up now. Well, explain the, the, the permafrost and how, how this, uh, the, the layer would have changed and the pressure would have been there to allow this to happen. Well, what happens is obviously at the, in the Arctic Circle in the olden days, these soils were permanently frozen. And because the Arctic is warming at least two, but possibly three times faster than the rest of our globe, these soils are warm, are, are melting. And th we're talking about 50, 75 feet of accumulated ancient forest wood that is becoming pliable and anything and everything can happen up there. It's these fires that we're all watching. Yeah. Well, the fact that this happened about 18 miles from uh, the yeah. region's largest natural gas field, your take on that? Well, uh, there, there's so much gas underground, the Australian scientists, I believe, nailed it. What we're seeing is everything beneath the surface is also starting to warm up, and the the oil field, the gas field, is is popping like champagne corks. Yeah. yeah? Well, it uh, it's rather interesting. Uh, Siberia is kind of a cold place. Or should we con should we be concerned at the the location of where this happened? 
Siberia might be a cold place, but let me tell you, Ed, up around 70 degree latitude in Alaska is very cold. We should be very concerned with fires in the Arctic, and we should be very concerned about all of the methane that's happening in our soils okay. that's bleeding into the air. All right. Dr. Reese Halter, we'll come back to you again. It's an amazing story. Thanks for your time tonight. Thanks, Ed. That's The Ed Show. I'm Ed Schultz. Politics Nation with Reverend Al Sharpton starts right now. Good evening, Rev. Good evening, Ed.